Hello, my name is Miguel and today I'm going to make for you curried conch. So you're going to need about a tablespoon or two of curried powder, a tablespoon and a half or a tablespoon of, depending on how much you're cooking, of salt, sea salt preferably. I'm using butter beans, a can of butter beans, 14 ounce. Rosemary, a teaspoon of rosemary, a tablespoon of dried basil, a tablespoon of dried parsley, a stack of scallion or two, a teaspoon of fermented berries, a spring of thyme, a small onion, half of a Georgia slice and dice, a piece of garlic, six to eight garlic cloves, six to eight garlic cloves, a small tomato. Scotch bonnet pepper, white vinegar, a tablespoon, a half coconut oil for cooking and water. Peel the skin off just this. Not this, this. Strip the dead leaves off and cut the tips. Ginger, just peel it, and rinse it. Time. Teaspoon half of there, half of there. Alright. Let's peel this. Peel the choo choo. And cut this. And slice off the whole. Put this in, add two. We're gonna have two seasoning. I don't know if I said it. We're gonna add the seasoning twice one while it pressures to make the stock, and this while it stews.
Don't do like me, you know, you can put it on the surface and just go boom. Flat surface. So I keep my fingers out of the way. That's what you should do. I should be really like this. But sometimes it's hard to grip it. So that's why I don't like sharp knives. I right, put half over here. actually touch my if it was sharp it would it would cut me using it for flavoring so I just wanted to dissolve in the food Spoon over here, half over here. Dried parsley, a 
the school in Alpha here. Alpha here. Sage. Half a teaspoon of sage. Half over here. Half over there. Dry it out fresh. You can use any of these herbs. Dry it out fresh. Salt. A tablespoon. Start with a tablespoon. Alright, for the curried conch, use a table, a garlic, save one of the garlic to burn the curry and add a teaspoon and a half, one half of a teaspoon of rosemary. So now we're going to cover this. Put this aside. And clean your area. So this half pound of conch meat prepped. It said 100% clean. And I also saw they said 60% clean and all them other stuff. But I have a tutorial to show you cleaning from the shell it and everything so this is it right, so now let's cut these little fins off I'm not gonna cook, all, I'm gonna pressure cook all of it, but I'm gonna cook half of it, brown stew, half curry tomorrow. But I'm just gonna do one pressure. And put then put the other half in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Or freezer really. I keep it frozen. Alright, so that's what you're gonna get. Rinse it off. Let's throw some water over this and rinse it off. You remember this when it was pretty? If you see some of my newer, newer videos, you see this. That's so ugly. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. So now, let's eat it. Break it up with the hammer.
see, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. All right, so once you beat it like that, that's it. All right, so once you beat it like that. All right, so once you beat it like that. That's it. Put to it a pressure cooker pot. Pressure cooker pot, put the stove gauge at six to get it going. Add four cups of water. Add Cleaned and prepped conked, conk meat. Add season one. On properly, make sure that's on properly. So, on. Once it comes to a whistle, we're gonna pressure cook it for 45 minutes. It's building, it's taking some time to build, so it's been about six minutes now and it's still building. No, not six, about four, about six minutes. It's starting. fighting its way to start. Alright, so once you hear the, the whistle, put your stove's gauge on medium, low, which is 4 for me, and set your timer for 45 minutes. Alright, 45 minutes. Just turn it off and allow it to cool. Run water over this side if you're in a hurry until here so releases. you want to get it All right. so remove these now aside now this is our conch stock to stew down the curried conch This is the idea. You see, you gotta make sure it's tender first before you stew it down. All right, for curried conk. beans if you don't want to buy broad beans you can always soak it for a little while and then pressure cook it for like 
15 minutes or 18 minutes at the most. Go look at my book, visit my website, jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. So put a frying pot on your stove top. Put your stove gauge on four medium, medium low, six the highest. We're gonna burn the curry. So add a garlic. Spoon. Like one cooking only half pound, two tablespoon and a half. We can use up to two tablespoons. Some people add oil first, then add the curry to the oil, but I believe this is the best way. Alright, so, so once this, you see it's getting dark, but don't allow it to get black. Just, the stove gauge is on six, between six and four. Right, that's good enough. Add oil. About half of quarter cup. Gauge up, put the stove gauge on four and allow it to simmer. Let's clean this off, make sure it's clean. Don't use your shirt tip as I'm using right now. I'm cooking for myself. So just and cut it away from you. from here and just remove this wire um, throw water on this tool and rinse it all right and let's put this aside for later God, it's already cooked you know it's already pre-cooked so all you gotta do is just add it see so 
is 10 minutes. After 15 minutes, let's put it on low. and low, almost off, almost off low. I have an okra leaf from yesterday. So I'm going, you can I'm just dice it and put it in fine. Just the thing, it's the help thing, reaching the gravy. Okra. It's optional, it's just, it's don't really come with the recipe, but you can. Five minutes in all. Fifteen minutes on four and ten minutes on low. Now we're gonna turn it up and thicken it. So put your stove gauge on four. all over the place so that's why I like to remove it once it's once it's Allow it to simmer on a higher, higher flame, four or six. All right, this is after two to three minutes. Gently. starts to stick to the bottom line. It's a sign to say it's ready. I'm gonna let it go for like two more minutes and let's call it 30 minutes. Garlic will never smash. 
and take it off. Or this. Until you're ready to serve. Keep it soap. I'm just showing off. I'm not really doing anything. I want you to see how good it is. He must permit the berries. Now he's in the way. If you want something different, definitely try this recipe. Visit jamaicadinners.com Thanks to the men on the seafront I heard, overheard him talking and they said curry bean and conch and a, and, a, and a bell went off in my head and I said wow I'm gonna do that and this is it voila I'm proud right now This is so different.
Enjoy.